Good afternoon everybody. Drop out Martin the Millet here. Hope you're all going well. Hope you had a good Christmas day yesterday. As today is Boxing Day and literally almost everything has gone back to normal. Still a public holiday, some shops are open, some shops are closed. But at least the transport is running again. Whatever you do, if you're coming to Britain over Christmas, always remember, no transport Christmas Day. So, I'm in Hampstead today to do my weekly color bread run, where I go to Cumber Bread Bakery near Hampstead Heath, uh, Overground Station, buy a loaf of color bread, have two Israeli donuts and a cup of coffee, and be on my way with my color bread in a tote bag. So, I just realized that the famous British cellist Jacqueline Dupree actually lived in this area and there's a plaque at the house she lived in and there's also a, a plaque at the house she lived in central London so I've never done any vlogs about Jacqueline Dupree but I did an Instagram post many years ago where I visited her grave at Hoop Lane Cemetery in Golders Green now to cut a long story short Jacqueline Dupree was born in Oxford she was a, a cellist who became famous at the age of 20. Uh, she married the Argentinian Jewish musician who he actually had multiple citizenships in Argentine, Spain, Israel and Palestine. Uh, Daniel, uh, can't remember his surname off the top of my head but it'll come to me. But sadly multiple sclerosis ended her career in the 1970s when she was you know, unable to play the cello but she was a prominent figure in British classical music and she even received like an OBE from the Queen and then sadly she passed away from the illness in 1987 yes so I'm just gonna walk up around Hampstead and find the, the plaques that honor Jacqueline Dupree this is Downshire Hill North West London that house over there, that's where Jim Henson lived when he was creating The Muppet Show in the 70s and 80s. Because, surprisingly enough, The Muppet Show was filmed in London and it was on air every Sunday. Ah, oh, see, so there it is. That's number five. That's a plaque that says Jacqueline Dupree had lived there. But it's not the old-fashioned blue plaque. So, Jacqueline Dupree lived in this house at Hampstead from 1970 to 1975, according to what the plaque says. Um, I, I believe she got a diagnosis of her multiple sclerosis in the 1970s, so she was living in that house when she got ill with uh, multiple sclerosis. And then I believe she m must have moved like south of, of London, because she actually she did die in London in, uh, I think, I think like, yeah, in the West End, I believe it, yeah. So she lived in Hampstead for five -ish years. But it isn't really like a proper blue plaque of the house. It's just basically a separate Hampstead Heritage plaque just to see that Jacqueline Dupree had lived here. Just got off the bus from Camden. I took a bus Hampstead to Camden, Camden to Baker Street. So I'm in mean, walking distance of where Jacqueline lived. And there is actually a proper blue plaque installed to commemorate that she lived in that house for a couple of years in the 60s and 70s. So, just in the usual central part of London. And like literally... <laughs> so according to Wikipedia, Dupree met pianist and conductor Daniel Barenbaum in London on Christmas Eve 1966. Shortly before the Six Day War of 1967, she cancelled all her engagements and flew to Jerusalem with Barenbaum. There she converted to Judaism and they married at the Western Wall on the 15th of June 1967 after giving concerts around Israel for troops and citizens. Barabon and Dupree were highly regarded as a golden couple in the music industry during the late 60s and early 70s with extensive performing and recording collaborations being ranked as some of the finest of the time. You see this Daniel Barenboim is quite an interesting character. He was born an Argentinian uh, of, you know, European Jewish descent, and then he moved to Israel as a child, and then he's he's actually now living in Germany right now, 
But he's got really multiple citizenships. He's got Argentine, Israel, Palestinian, and Spanish. Because uh, I don't understand what, like, how he inherited the Spanish citizenship because Spain actually does give citizenship to people of Sephardic Jewish descent as a, you know, as a you know, repatriation and to an apology for what happened in the Spanish Inquisition. So many famous people have lived in Hampstead that have like vlogged in the past, like living in John, Jim Henson, Leonard Cohen, George Orwell. Such a popular place to live back there in what the, the 20th century. But don't think you can think of any famous people who live there now. Okay, so this is number 27, and here's the blue plaque to say from Jacqueline Dupree lived here from 1967 to 1971. So it's quite strange how the plaque in Hampstead says she was living there from 1970-75, so maybe she did have two properties. Yeah, so another historic blue plaque in London. Now, I could end the vlog by going back to Golders Green and visiting where Jacqueline Dupree is buried. But unfortunately, I'm not going to do it because it's nearly dusk, cemetery shut soon. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to like leave a photograph of where Jacqueline is buried at Hoop Lane Cemetery. And you can make your own way there to visit her any day that you like. She's buried not far from the entrance like when you go into the cemetery grounds you basically just have to take a right no sorry a left like to a left and then she has a big tombstone uh well, that basically says her name and all yeah so anyway this is martin millerhead over and out